Today we have quite a difficult integral to solve and you have to solve it using trig substitution. So go ahead and try it for yourself and well done if you are able to solve it. So here's my solution. So I'm looking for a substitution that I can make and I'm keeping in mind my trig identities when I'm making the substitution because I want to substitute in something for you. If I substituted in a sine of x, which is what I'm going to do, then you'll notice I'll have 1 minus sine squared of x. And that's an identity. That's equal to cosine squared of x. And then I'm going to root that, and I'll just be left with cosine of x. So that really does simplify things. But obviously then I have to differentiate and substitute something in for, the, for du. So it does become slightly more complicated. But essentially that does simplify the integral a lot. And I'll show you how. So let's make that substitution. Let's make u equal to sine of x. Okay. So therefore, the derivative of u in terms of x is cosine of x dx. And now we integrated u from 0 to 1, but now we're integrating x. Now, if we substitute in 0 there, sine of what gives us 0? Sine of 0 gives us 0. So we can integrate x from 0 to, and now sine of what gives us 1? So sine of pi by 2, which is the radian measure for 90 degrees, so we have pi by 2, gives us 1. All right, so now we can rewrite this integral in terms of x. So we're integrating now from 0 to pi by 2 of the square root of 1 minus sine squared of x times by. Now for du, we substitute in cosine of x dx. Okay, but I said that 1 minus sine squared of x was equal to cosine squared of x. Now if I'm square rooting something that's squared, both of those can fall away. Now I have cosine of x times by cosine of x. So I can get rid of one of those and I can say it's just cosine of x squared. All right. So now we've really simplified our integral, but we can simplify it even more because as it turns out, cosine squared of x is difficult to integrate. So we have to use another trig identity. So we know that cosine is equal to 2 cosine squared of x minus 1. All right. So now I'm going to re-manipulate so we can have this in terms of cosine squared of x. So we have cosine squared of x. We take that one across. So we have cosine of 2x plus 1 divided by 2. So we took that one across and then we divide by 2. Okay. So now for cosine squared of x, I'm going to substitute in cosine of 2x plus 1 over 2, which is also the same thing as cosine of 2x over 2 plus 1 over 2. Okay. So we now have the integral from 0 to pi by 2 of cosine of 2x over 2 plus 1 over 2 dx. Okay, so solving this integral, cosine of 2x, the integral of that is going to be sine of 2x divided by 2 because of this 2 inside the cosine. So now if it's divided by 2 and it was already divided by 2, then we have it over 4. And we can check that that was correct by differentiating sine of 2x over 4. The derivative of sine of 2x is going to be cosine of 2x times by 2. So cosine of 2x times by 2 divided by 4 is cosine of 2x over 2. So that integral, that integration did work. Now the integral of 1 over 2 is going to be 1 over 2x. And of course, this is still integrated from 0 to pi by 2. Okay, so now substituting in our limit of integration we get pi by 2 going in here, and we get sine of 2 times by pi by 2, which is sine of pi, and sine of pi is the same as sine of 180 degrees, which is 0. So 0 divided by 4 is 0. And then plus pi by 2 times by 1 over 2, which is going to be pi by 4. All right, now we substitute in 0. Sine of 2 times by 0 is the same as sine of 0, and sine of 0 is 0. So 0 divided by 4 is 0. And then we substitute in 0 here, and 1 over 2 times 0 is 0. So this leaves us with the final answer of pi by 4. So the solution to the initial integral from 0 to 1 of the square root of 1 minus u squared du is equal to pi by 4. So I hope you found this video useful, and I hope it cleared up trig substitution for you as a means or a technique of integration. And if you found this video useful, please don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe to my channel. There's still many days left in the countdown, and you don't want to miss the end. Thank you.